Planted aquariums are top rated nowadays because of their natural beauty and unique ability to consume the toxic nitrogen compounds produced by fish waste. Designing a planted aquarium is one of the best things you can do for your fish. Apart from enhancing the beauty of your tank, freshwater aquarium plants are excellent at boosting the oxygen levels of a fish tank. Hey, welcome back to Aquarium Store Depot, and today we will cover the best plants you can grow in your small aquariums. Finding suitable plants for a small tank can be challenging and highly time consuming. That is why we decided to make this video so that you can easily choose one of these 11 plants for your small aquarium. You can find yourself grappling with looking for the perfect aquarium plants and valuable techniques to arrange them in the small aquarium, but don't worry. This video is going to be one of the best sources for discovering plants that work in small aquariums with everything you need to know. Let's figure out what the best plants for small aquariums are. Now before we get started, here's what I ask for a hands-on smashing of that like button. Doing this lets the YouTube algos know that this video deserves an algorithmic high five while at the same time encourages me to make more videos just like this one. Before going to the list of best plants, let's first discuss what aquarium plants are and why we need them. Aquarium plants have adapted to living in aquatic environments. It can be saltwater or freshwater. This video is going to focus on freshwater plants. They can be used as natural filters in an aquarium and when planted correctly, these plants can create incredible aquascapes that look like underwater gardens. The benefits live aquarium plants bring are great. Aquarium plants are perfect for boosting oxygen, consuming nutrients and toxins like nitrate, and managing the dietary needs of fish. Aquarium plants help in cleaning water in your aquarium, provide hiding spaces to your fish, and are a good source of food for some fish species, and aquarium plants make your tank much more appealing and maintained. They can lace it with a natural look for you and your fish to enjoy. So these are some benefits of adding plants to your aquariums and now let's move to our list of best plants for small sized aquariums. The first plant that comes to mind is very popular among fish keepers. This would be Anubius Nana. Let's learn about Anubius Nana Petite in detail. As a beginner aquatic with a small tank, Anubius Nana Petite can be one of the best choices you can make. The plant does well in freshwater aquariums and can easily withstand environmental changes. Since it's essential to make your aquarium look natural, the tiny green-colored leaves of this plant can help you achieve that goal. Anubius Nana Petite is one of the best foreground plants that should be attached to the base of the hardscape around the mid-ground area. This plant can be used as a carpeting plant and is considered the most miniature Anubius plant in the aquarium hobby. The low maintenance of Anubius Nana Petite makes it perfect for novices, but make sure you pay attention to its rhizome. The rhizome should stay above the substrate and the plant should be exposed to low light to grow. It usually grows slowly, so don't lose your patience. After Anubius Nana, let's learn about our next plant on this list, which is Cryptocorin parva. Cryptocorin parva originated from Sri Lanka, and Cryptocorin parva is now known as one of the best aquatic plants in the world. Depending on cultivation, Cryptocorin parva stays the same in coloration. A good thing I can personally say about this plant is that it is small and worth your investment. Compared to other Cryptocorin plants, this one needs more lighting to grow leaves underwater. The plant can shed leaves as a natural process called crypt melt when first placed in a new aquarium home, but that's natural. Once the plant gets familiar with the new environment and is placed under bright natural lighting, you will see it regrowing leaves in no time. After Cryptocorin, now let's move on to our next plant on this list, which is Dwarf Hairgrass. So let's learn about Dwarf Hairgrass in brief. Dwarf hair grass is pretty easy to manage given you take care of water parameters and other essential elements of their primary care sheet. It is another foreground plant that you can include in some of the best carp plants suitable for a small fish tank. This plant grows like aquatic grass across freshwater tanks with slim stalks like roots. The stalks grow horizontally and can give your tank a natural look. Dwarf hair grass can help you provide shelter to your bottom dwelling fish and spread out to make excellent ground cover. 
The hardy nature of dwarf hair grass makes it perfect for beginners. After dwarf hair grass now, let's learn about Bucephalandra, one of the most popular plants in the aquarium hobby. Similar to Anubius and Cryptochorin discussed above, Bucephalandra is also found in rapidly moving waters with specialized breeding. Bucephalandra is now considered a top choice of small aquariums. The plant can tolerate a moderate range of temperatures. To give you a reasonable estimate of its temperature tolerance, keep the plant water between 71 Fahrenheit to 79 Fahrenheit. There are wide varieties, but Bucephalandra mini coin and Bucephalandra arrogant blue are the two species that are more popular for small aquariums and loved by aquarists. These beautiful plants are good to place in a nano aquarium or a layout that comprises small details. After Bucephalandra, now let's talk about Christmas moss, also known as freshwater carpet moss. Since we are covering plants that can grow in a small aquarium, here's another plant on the list called Christmas Moss that can make your planted tank sufficient for your fish. Christmas Moss is one of the most commonly used plants in the aquarium hobby. Despite having a slow growth rate, it creates a field across your tank and can be used as moss by your fish during spawning. You can also use this plant to provide a valuable hiding place for your fish and a source of food for small fish species and invertebrates. The plant resembles the shape of a Christmas tree because of its branches that droop and overlap each other. Christmas moss might also look familiar to java moss, but there's a considerable difference between the plants. Due to its versatility, moss can grow on land, rocks, and branches. It will grow faster out of the water. After Christmas moss, Micranthemum, also known as Monte Carlo, is the best-looking carpeting plant for small aquariums, so let's learn about it. The Monte Carlo, scientifically classified as Micranthemum, is a magnificent carpeting plant that gives a velvety touch to the base of your aquarium. Found in streams and lakes, the Monte Carlo is now a popular aquarium plant around the world. The plant has a moderate growth rate, and if managed properly, it can spread quickly, creating a soft mat across your planted tank. Since it grows laterally, you can see small bright green-colored leaves popping out. When planted in a substrate, the Monte Carlo plant takes about 4 to 8 weeks to form compact mats or carpets fully. The unique trait of Monte Carlo is that it can grow along the bottom, but you can also use cuttings to create a cascade over the rocks. After Monte Carlo, now let's talk about Starogene Reapens. Starogene Reapens is a fresh-looking green plant with stiff brownish stems. Starogene Reapens is a fresh green compact and hardy plant for the foreground of the aquarium and it was found in River Rio Cristalino in the southern Amazonas. Starogene Reapens is one of the best foreground plants for a nano aquarium. This is relatively easy to plant to care for. This is quite a hardy plant that you can easily manage as a beginner. Starogene Reapens gives a fresh greenish look to the aquariums. Under bright light, the plant can grow long and upright shoots. It's better to place this aquarium plant under low light and let it grow gradually and colonize the gravel at its own pace. Like other mid-ground plants, this plant can be placed in the middle ground of the aquarium. Storagene Reapens grows horizontal shoots as soon as you cut the upright and most extended shoots, and due to the plant's fast growth, it is recommended to maintain low density. You can do this by letting the emergent leaves die underwater. Next up, we have Helanthium Vesuvius. Helanthium Vesuvius, famously known as Vesuvius Sword Plant, is a relatively new plant to the aquarium hobby. With its usual ability to grow leaves in a way that makes them appear projecting from the plant base like a spiral sword, this plant is a perfect fit for a nano aquarium. The plant typically grows above the water, hence it can grow broader leaves above the water level. Apart from this, you can also see flower buds appearing. For a beginner, this plant is an excellent option to consider. Due to the large size, you can use Helanthium Vesuvius as a background plant for your nano tank. I hope you guys are getting the information and enjoying these stats. And if you want more such videos from Aquarium Store Depot, please like this video and subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss any updates from us. Because we are going to cover all such topics so that you can thrive in the aquarium hobby. Now let's move to our next plant on this list. So let's talk about AR Mini. If you're looking for something unique in appearance, then give AR Mini a try. 
This is a dwarf variant of the well-known plant species Alernanthera reiniki. It is a perfect fit for nano aquariums, but you can also use it for a large tank. It can be grown immersed or submerged and reaches up to 8 inches tall. Since it's a stem plant, you must give it a good amount of light to grow properly. Giving CO2 can also help it hit the optimum growth mark. The plant has poor tolerance for disturbed water parameters, so it's recommended to avoid drastic changes. After AR Mini, let's move to the last plant on our list, which are moss balls. One more popular aquatic plants in the hobby. These little green balls are not a moss but algae, but looks incredible in small tanks. The fascinating things about Marimel moss ball is that the action of waves helps it keep its round shape intact. In the wild, these moss balls thrive in cold water, making them not a great fit for some tropical fish tanks. To get the best out of them, get those moss balls that were cultivated using environment-friendly methods. For a beginner, moss balls are pretty easy to care for, but you have to consider a few things to ensure they survive. Unlike other more resilient plants, moss balls must be placed in cool water to live longer. It would be best if you always kept them in an area where the sunlight doesn't fall directly on them. Too much light or inadequate lighting are both dangerous to this species. They can turn brown if the light is too bright or too low. Things like going out of shape can happen as a result. You have to make the water more to their parameters to get them to melt back to its original shape. Apart from this, these algae balls need fertilizers for proper growth. They grow slowly, but once they get their preferred conditions in a home tank, these moss balls can grow up to 12 inches. These are several types of plants that thrive in small aquariums, despite the common misconception that they require a lot of room. Many of these plants are also easy to care for and require little to moderate maintenance, making them perfect for beginner aquarists or those who don't have much time to dedicate to their hobby. I hope this video helped you with why you should consider adding these small plants and what conditions and requirements you have to fulfill before introducing them. If you like this video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, Aquarium Store Depot, where we discuss all the aquarium-related topics and help you thrive in the aquarium hobby. If you have any experience keeping small plants in your aquarium, let us know in the comments. If you have any queries or problems related to the aquarium hobby, join our Facebook and Discord groups where beginner to advanced fish keepers share their personal experiences. I am sure you will also find your solution if you face any fish keeping issues. Thanks for watching this video.